So my name is Giovanni Sena. I'm part of the HP category organization in the Americas, responsible for notebooks. Uh, so we're going to talk about today some of the new addition to the, our MV uh, lineup. We are broadening our MV lineup, and in, in this year we're focused specifically on Ultrabook and Slickbook. And so we talk about Ultrabook, Slickbook, and then we go into the details of, of the product. So let me start with the differences between an Ultrabook and a, Slick, a Slickbook. So the Ultrabook goes after the Intel traditional Ultrabook definition. The Slickbook is something that HP will introduce in the market later this year. Uh, the idea with the Slickbook is to go after the same segment, so it's still a mobility segment, uh, leveraging the same design, the same technology, some of the same key features and performance, but the main difference is the specs. So on the Slickbook we have more flexibility from a spec standpoint to really go after that broader offer and broader price point. Uh, a good example is you will see an AMD offer on, uh, on a 15.6 Leakbook, but you can also, we also see HP offering an Intel version on a Leakbook that for example doesn't meet all the requirements of an Intel Ultrabook. Uh, MSAT or the Cache B is one of the examples. Uh, we're launching two new products. There will be a 14-inch screen size and a 15-inch, 15.6 screen size. Uh, so let me talk about the products a little bit. So from a design standpoint, uh, both of the products, 15 and 14, have a metal uh, finish on the top cover as well as the inside. Uh, you see two different flavors. We have a metal finish in silver and metal finish in black. Uh, but the nice characteristic about this product is the C cover. So the bottom is, uh, is what we call a soft touch. This is a material that we use on other mobility platform, the DM1, 11.6 being an examples. And even in the case, you see a black finish or a red finish. The idea with the soft touch that is more of a rubber finish is to provide that nice combination of material. So you have metal and rubber finish and consumer reacted very well to the combination of materials, but also with this platform, there are more mobile platform that consumer will carry around more often than traditional platform. The rubber finish at the bottom of the soft touch allow for an easy way of uh, grabbing your product and uh, avoiding that like, slipping of the product. So, so it has again an aesthetic function as well as more usability or functionality itself. Uh, and I mentioned about the two color again with the red and, and, the, and the black and the silver. Um, one of the elements, this is one of the key pillar that we focus on as we're developing Ultrabook or Sleepbook was performance. So the idea here is that we didn't want to compromise any of the performance that you see in a traditional notebook as you go thinner, and so you just go after the Ultrabook or the Liquid segment. So what that means is if you look audio, for example, on both 14 and 15.6, we have Beats Audio, uh, so premium audio on this platform with, uh, with the speakers, two speakers, um, but also the ports. So one of the key areas here that we're focusing on is the connectivity. So we decided to not compromise having the ports. So you have, for example, USB, uh, HDMI as well as an Ethernet cable, so you can actually connect an Ethernet cable without compromising the size of the of the notebook. And it's clever the way we designed this in the sense that you see there is a little bit of uh, a gap on uh, on the on the on the port here where you can where you can fit your Ethernet cable uh, without impacting the size of the notebook completely. So, and again, that's part of uh, focusing on the performance uh, in general. But part of the performance, especially critical on an Ultrabook or Sleepbook, is battery life. So battery life on the 14 inch is eight hours, battery life on the 15.6 would be nine hours. So a lot of focus, a lot of emphasis and efforts on the battery life, uh, as well as the usability. So we have a keyboard, really good travel on the keyboard, so to make it very easy to use and, and, and really good feeling as you type. We use a different finish on the, on the touchpad, what we call a span metal. So a metal finish with a very nice sleek design, but also going with a larger size touchpad just to improve that usability uh, as a customer use the product. And that comes with HP image pad that again allow you to have a better gesture uh, on, on the touchpad and just go more on the touch, on the touch aspect. Um, and then the other thing is choices, right? So we also wanted to offer choices on these devices, and what I mean with that is configurability. Uh, to give an example, uh, this platform, both 14 and 56, will have a backlit keyboard as, a, as an option, as well as a discrete graphic as an option. And then, of course, you have configurability in terms of uh, CPU architecture, AMD or Intel, as well as hard drive configuration or memory configuration. So being able to offer 
that choice to consumer was one of the key uh, areas that we want to focus on on these two products. Um, again, we'll be available in the 14, 15, 6. The AMD will be available in the 15, 6 uh, screen size. Intel will be available in 14 and 15, 6. Uh, to give you an idea of the price point, the opening price point for the 15, 6 AMD is $599. The opening price point for the 14-inch Intel Ultrabook is $749. So again, well, the sleek book and the Ultrabook allow us to really cover a broad spectrum of a price point, really going after a, a more of a mature mainstream market. Uh, I also want to make a couple of comments on the 15.6. Traditionally, you see all the most of the Ultrabooks in the market today being 13 or 14. Uh, based on our research, we've seen the 15.6 still be a very solid screen size in the market, especially in the U.S. And so our strategy here is to offer the 15.6 screen size in a very portable mobility platform um, and going after, again, the sleek book, ultrabook design, but without forcing consumer to go to a, a smaller screen size, the 14 or 13. So again, it's a, it's a great device for people that are still using um, the screen and that basically using more of a maybe um, spreadsheet or more like um, display intense application and but still want to go mobile and being able to um, carry the product with them as they do with traditional more mobility platform. Um, and, uh, and so those are in, the, in sort of a quick summary the, the, the highlight of the product. Uh, it will come so the Intel will be available with the either second or third generation core architecture. The AMD will be available with the second generation AMD APU uh, architecture.